Song Chen, one, two. Song Chen, one, two. everybody welcome to the celebration service for our dear sister Barbara Pierre I would like to invite those on the outside to please come in let us all stand as we all join in singing the entrance song Waymaker
Sister Aloysia Charles to do the opening prayer. Thank you, God. Shall we all pray? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise father god for this wonderful day we thank you O oh god for this gathering here this afternoon O oh god we thank you god for the life of barbara lord we thank you O oh god that you gave her oh god to her family and friends god we thank you father god for the all oh god all the good memories father that they shared with her oh god we ask oh father today that your blessings will be upon this service today oh god take full control father for oh god from the very beginning right oh god oh God to the end. We bring every family member to you today. We ask oh God that you will touch them in a special way this afternoon. We pray oh God that you will give them your strength. We pray that you will give you oh God that you will give them your peace. We ask today oh God that your divine will be done in their lives oh God. We ask oh God this oh God this afternoon that you will just take full control. Holy Spirit we welcome you in this place and we ask that you bless this service today in Jesus name. Amen. amen amen thank you sister Aloysia Barbara was a very joyful person and now we will all join in a worship praise and worship session we will begin with let it rise it's the, the words are on your leaflet sing along
Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is also the God of the dead. He's the God of the living and of the dead. We give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Goodness of God.
praise your name, mighty God. We thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Please be seated. We will now listen to the scripture reading taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. The reading will be done by Asa Donnelly, nephew of Barbara Pierre. Good afternoon. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 14 to 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will, will God bring with him. For this we say unto the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up to, together with them in the clouds to, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Thank you. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Asa. I now call on Shem Hippolyte to do one of Barbara's very special song, one of her favorite songs. And I hope that this song will also minister to you as it ministered to her.
integrity, my faith will If faith is me, will not fall, will not bend, won't compromise. That faith is me, I speak life and prosperity, and I speak. God faith is me, they whisper, inspire. They throw their lies God favors me My character My integrity My faith in God He favors me Will not fall Will not bend Won't compromise God favors me I speak love And prosperity And I speak hell God favors me, they whisper, conspire, they tell their lies. God favors me, my character, my integrity, my faith in God. He favors me, will not fall, will not bend, won't compromise. God favors me. the deceased hallelujah it's only because of God's favor that I am able to stand here this afternoon as a sister strength of God hallelujah I now call on pastor Bernie Pierre to deliver the eulogy good afternoon to all The eulogy of Barbara Pierre, aka Auntie Baba, Babs Kibish. I often wondered where this name Kibish came from until my mother told me the story over the weekend. She told me that when they were younger, as children growing up, they would go to the river to catch crayfish. And Barbara caught one, but it escaped, leaving the claws behind. And while they continued the search, that clawless crayfish kept showing up. And so Daniel, who we call Uncle Polly, would say, Mickey Bish Baba. And he continued calling her that name even up to now. I must say that writing this has been extremely difficult, just as I'm sure it has been for friends and family to share information to include. But our task here today is to celebrate her life, her willingness to help and occasionally show support to family members started at an early age. As a young girl, her mom would send her to Rosa Beach to purchase, to purchase fish. While on the beach, she would be so helpful to the fishermen that they would have her keep the money and give her the fish for free. Something which pleased her mom so much that instead of sending the boys, she, would, she was the favored one to continue going to buy fish. While growing up, she had the habit of following her sister Patsy, the eldest of her siblings, everywhere she went. Even when her sister moved to La Pance with her four children, Karen, Bernie, Burnett, and Joel, she was in stride following her to that location as well. 
While her sister worked, she had the responsibility of assisting her with looking after her four children. Wherever she had the chance to embrace me, she would wholeheartedly remind everyone around her that she brought me up by saying, Mekileve. My twin sister credits her with being the one who taught her how to do laundry by hand. Barbara was the family caregiver to many children, beginning with the four that I mentioned before, then on to Colin and Asa, the children of her closest siblings, and then Kate, the daughter of her niece Karen. Karen remembers and appreciated her for being the one who looked after her daughter for two years while she was in the U.S. and for being the one to deliver Kate to her in the U.S. after that time had passed. Her nieces and nephews know her to be kind, loving, caring, and even the one of the aunts, and to me, to me, the one who never beat. Her two sons remember, her two sons, Roger and Jeff, both share their own fond memories of an amazing mom, how much of an amazing mom she was to them. Roger recalls how she wanted grandchildren. To her, having taken care of so many of her siblings' children who were all grown up, she wanted to have grandchildren to take care of. She was truly overjoyed when that wish came true when her grandson was born. He remembers it as being one of the best things that ever happened to her. Not a day would pass if she did not call or video call her grandson, sharing with him her vibrant and joyful laughter, having conversations that only the two of them understood. The fact that she could not take, him, take care of him the way she wanted because of how unwell she felt, was painfully felt by her and her son. In the words of her second son, Jeff, he saw her as the one who was always constant and neutral in the family. And if I could share a joke right there. One point in my life, on Sunday morning, I was in a heated argument with my twin sister. And it was really loud. So much so that she heard me and she came out and she said, I mean for being the neutral one, she came out and she said, Bartley Bunil. <laughs> Thankfully, Dr. Pierre was hearing as well and she came out and she said, Bernie, remember who you are. And it stopped. She loved to laugh. She and her grandmother would sit and laugh about the good old days. They would laugh loud enough until her sister Sylvia would hear and they would say to each other, Tale Sylvia Cavini. And sure enough, she would show up. The following words are directly from one of her nieces calling, My point of view. Auntie Barbara, always Auntie Barbara, always truly an exceptional woman who cared for others. She was hospitable, and I can't thank her enough for always being there for us. She taught me so much, and I attribute the person I am today to her. I don't think that there was anyone who loved watching Lifetime or Lifetime movies more than she did. She could name almost all the actors or actresses just by hearing their voices or seeing them on screen. She enjoyed shopping and loved ev anything to do with getting herself new clothes, shoes, bags, jewelry, and getting her hair done. This lady loved looking good. She always took pride in taking care of her skin. She would often say to us, make sure that you rub your skin and don't do it rushing, but take your time. Auntie Barbara loved to cook. I'm sure she would have been a great chef if she had decided to take that career seriously. I don't think anyone could outdo her in making baked macaroni and cheese as good as she did. If you knew her, if you know, you know. Oh, I will never forget, forget this signature dish of hers. I learned how to appreciate a well-cooked meal and learned a few cooking tips from her as well. 
She was compassionate, helpful, and loving, resilient, and jo jovial. She always found a way to put a smile on someone's face by cracking a joke or two, or simply just by complimenting them. She had this laugh which was so contagious and filled any room she was in. She loved singing aloud at home or among family, despite her voice not being the best or her going off key sometimes. She'd often play gospel music on the loudest volume almost every morning before work and afternoon. She, would, she loved a clean environment. She would be tired, but somehow found the energy to get up and clean her home because according to her, if I don't do it, no one will do it for me. If you knew Auntie Baba, then I'm sure you knew of her love for flowers. So much so that she had her own little flower garden outside her home. She would tend to those flowers almost every day and didn't play about them whatsoever. Meaning that she would not let it like it when people went to her flowers without her knowledge. I suppose taking care of her flowers was her way of spending time with herself or was just one of her favorite things to do. She was so strong. So strong that when she was in pain, she never spoke up until it was really bothering her. When she was sad, she didn't show it till it felt like she couldn't keep it in anymore. When she was so tired from work, she was still full of energy and would still find something to occupy herself with. If you ever experience a muscle ache or a slight cough or cold, Auntie Barbara had the remedy to get you back running in a matter of days. No words can describe, no words can express how deeply we will miss you, Auntie Barbara. I am grateful and blessed that you were my aunt. May God bless you and keep you safe in heaven until we meet again. This is also from her brother, Karen Rutsipier. Kibish, I like to call her that way. That's my way of greeting her. To which sometimes she would say to, say to me, you like to call me that? And I would say, well, go on, kids. Then a smile would come to me with arms open wide, heartfelt, and warm, and warm, showing me how much I was missed. That's love. Well, sis, this is new for you and me too. This is out of this world, really. So let me say to you, rest in peace, my sister, rest. Rest now, my sister, rest. For that, when, for that which ended here, there is a new beginning. A new beginning in our father's house, in one of these mansions you will be in. To begin a new life, soulful life, a spirit life, new experience, enjoy, new experience, enjoy it. Wherever you are, please remember me and those left behind. As we, as we mind the time here, my dear sister, I will keep you in mind. But I ask you, please, 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 forgive me, my sister, that I am not here, in body with everybody. But I saw you and we spoke. I was, I was there already, and not everybody knew knows but you do shalom my sister shalom shalom peace be with you you're beautiful i love you i love you your loving brother i am in thank you pastor bernie continuing with the program we have now have tributes we will call on We'll first call on her niece, Bernard Pierre, to read a poem which was written by Menin Pierre, another niece of hers, after her death. Good afternoon. The bold but doom thief. So we meet again. We felt your presence here before. Like a thief in the night, you showed up unannounced at our door and robbed us of someone we loved, cherished, and adored. In your wake, families and friends are left behind to mourn. A loving mother, a grandmother, a steadfast aunt and niece, a dear sister, and a faithful friend. And although we've gathered here to bid our farewells, we can be assured that this is not the end. 
choose the meaning of her name. She came to earth as a traveler from a foreign land and departed just as her God had planned. But if the past could testify anything, the sun has never failed to shine. So as consistent as the sun is to shine after the rain. In the midst of our heartbreak and pain, with heavy but hopeful hearts we say, until we meet again. In the meantime, our hearts will be filled like the museum of the host of her memories. And from generation to generation, we will tell of her story and continue to sing medal years of God's victory over your sting. Because death, you are bold but a doom thief. Thank you. Amen. Certainly. It's bold, but he's a doomed thief. Thank you, Burnett. I now call on Gemma Fedrick. Gemma Fedrick to do a song. Good afternoon, Judge. <laughs> Mama, you gave love to me, turned your baby into a lady. And Mama, when all you had to offer was a promise of a lifetime of love. Thank you, Gemma. Let us all stand to do a congregation song. 
I know who I am. It's on your leaflet. John Joseph, our pastor in the house, to deliver the summonet. Please remain standing. Thank you, my beloved sister. Did a very great job. That's why I really like to go to Christian funerals. Somebody say amen. It's different. 
to the unbelievers funeral yeah. and by the way they go different places too yeah. amen yeah. somebody clap your hand for the Lord and the life of our dear sister thank God she made a good choice today we are here we are mourning but not like people with no hope we know one of these days we'll see our sister again i will see her and this is our hope so be of good cheer and be encouraged before i share i'm hoping that i won't be long because maybe you're feeling a little hot i don't want to keep you too long but i want to recognize pastor pierre pastor bernie pierre that's right and also pastor doctor yeah no i have it wrong this is pastor bernie bernie pierre and dr pierre so all of pierre's put all your hands together for <laughs> i didn't know that i thought i wrote it wrong but we are happy to have you all here with us and every other person and we are here to celebrate somebody say celebrate celebrate, celebrate the life of our dear sister barbara amen. amen on behalf of the church that i pastor and my immediate family i want to extend my deepest condolences to the pierre family i pray god that the lord will help you and without god you won't be able to go through but thank God, God has made a promise to you that he is with you always, even to the end. And by the way, death is not the end of the believer. Amen. So if you have your phone, you have your Bible, turn with me quickly to the book of Job. Job chapter 5 verse 26. Job 5 26 I pray for the sons great sons you'll always have mommy in your heart there can never be two mothers Job 5 26 thou shalt come to thy grave in full age in full age like a shock of corn cometh in his season thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age like a shock of corn cometh in its season lord take these words to our hearts and bless every one of us here let your word god be like a sledge like a hammer and may your word bring conviction to many we thank you and we praise you in jesus name please have your seats the death of the believers believers death that's why i tell you i love to go to christian funerals christian death believers die different to the unbelievers believers die different to the wicked it was Balaam who said i believe it's Balak. I want to die the death of a righteous man because why he saw how the unbelievers die he was there to see and afterwards he saw how the wicked die he said no 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 and then he saw how the believer die as a matter of fact the Bible don't even record that the believers die the Bible record that they fall asleep uh, somebody say praise the lord and so he was convinced he said no 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 i want to die the death of a righteous man how many of you feel that through god's grace that you are righteous raise your hands come and clap your hand for all righteous people and by the way our dear sister barbara was righteous god made her amen and so we do not believe all that job friends said they said so many things that are not true about job they were all miserable comforter three gray-headed men who speak what they knew and also what they wanted 
Thou shalt come to thy grave in thy full age, like a stalk of corn cometh in its season. The Bible uses agriculture's term to make a comparison. When you sow the corn, how you wait patiently for them to grow. You watch for worms, earthworms, yes? The cut off the tender plant, you watch for it, yes? You just don't want the plant to die. So you wait anxiously for the rain and the sun because you want a good harvest. Somebody say amen. Yes, a plant has grown mature. Now the plant grows. You, you water it. You fertilize it. Now it has grown mature. And its season has come. Do you know every one of us, our season will come? Yes, sir. Even as I share with you there now, my day is coming. And by the way, I've made provision for that. Because I know for sure I was not made to leave this place forever. And one of these days, whether 65 or 70 or 80, I have to say goodbye. Well, somebody say amen. Uh -huh. Some of you all don't want to leave at all. Because you're thinking of your nice house. You have worked hard. And you have a nice savings. But let me tell you, one of these days you'll put all this thing behind. And it will be only you and God. Oh, somebody clap your hand. Only you and God. Yes, and so with the full grown man, how many years of anxiety he go through, and yet he passed safely through youth, manhood, and age. Yes, the many accidents, the troubles, the many marks upon his scars, upon his body, the affliction upon his skin, tells him that he has been there for a while. Four things I want to share with you about the death of the believers. Number one, we considering that the death of the believers, first of all, is inevitable. Yes, sir. Thou shall come. Thou shall come. Honey, it is certain to happen. It is unavoidable. You just cannot prevent it. Yes, sir, all men must die one day. The truth that we always forget. We remember everything else but death. I have a good friend of mine from Monrepo. He loves fat more than anything. Every night that there is a dance, he's in the dance, dancing. Are you there with me? But in the midst of all his dancing and the music, he would just burst crying. Ah! When they tell you what happened to him, he said, when I remember that I have to die. <laughs> Hello? It is an appointment, the Bible says. It is appointed on a man wants to die, but after this, the sight of death make us remember it. The obituaries, the accident, the host, and yet we usually forget it. Death is inevitable to all of us. Yes, sir. We believed that Barbara, our dear sister, was thinking about her own mortality. And by the way, I like the eulogy. A lot of people say so many things in eulogy, but I believe this one is true. Somebody say amen. Oh, somebody clap your hand for that. I don't want when I die, people come and say all type of nonsense about me. I'll give instruction that they stop them. Are you there with me? Give me my flowers while I am alive. Oh, clap your hand for that. Hallelujah. Oh, they, some people, they don't know you while you are alive, you know. Even when you fall sick, uh, they never take a phone and call. They have no interest in you. But the moment you die, they have everything to say about you. Are you there with me? Well, I want my flower while I am alive. Somebody clap your hand for the Lord. Give it to me now. Yes, she loved to laugh. And by the way, laughter is a medicine for the soul. She loved to she loved to laugh. Not only this, but I am told, yes, she loved to play gospel. Gospel songs. Somebody said gospel songs. 
I'm wondering, how I heard one of the angels say, Master, where should we put Barbara? This sin that come up there, she started to give trouble in heaven. Oh yes, one sin come up, Master, where should we put her? And I heard one angel, it seems like it's Michael, say, put on her, put her on Praise Avenue. Come and clap your hand for Praise Avenue. <laughs> A place where she can praise forever. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, sir. She lived a good life. Somebody said good life. She was a good woman. The crowd here could tell you that. Are you hearing me? She left two sons. Sons who love her. Hello, I told you there can never be another mother. There can be another father, but not a mother. <laughs> oh, Lord God. A loving mother. A beloved friend. Somebody say amen. amen. And that's why we are here today to celebrate her life. We are here to celebrate her life. Yes, we lost a mother. Yes, we lost a sister. Yes, we lost a friend. But guess what? Heaven gain. She is not lost. She is in the presence of the living God. To be absent from the body is to be. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. And one of these days we will join with her again. Are you there with me? We'll be able to identify her sister. You'll be able to identify her when you come up. She says, hey, you come up. Oh, hallelujah. It's good to live your life for the Lord. So death is not only inevitable, but secondly, the death of the believers is also acceptable. Oh, somebody say acceptable. A lot of people don't want to ensure. They don't want to hear that they are going to die. Thou shalt come to thy grave. You shall come to your a willingness a cheerfulness to die hello thou shall come you shall not be dragged you shall not be hurried to the grave yes it is said that the foolish rich man in the book of Luke chapter 12 God said this night shall thy soul require of thee before he said that he said thou fool and when God call you fool you are international fool You shall die qu quietly and smilingly. I went and see the body. Believers, when they die, they maintain the nice smile. Somebody say amen. amen. Because when they see the angel coming to pick them up, there must be a smile upon their face. Clap your hand for that. Hey! I feel God in here. Yes, sir. Yes, acceptable, he shall come, he shall, listen carefully, the wicked man, when he die as though they are, they are driven to the grave, some evil souls, you have to actually beat them, growing up my father told me, you have to beat them, whip them with cassava branches, whip them with zacassia branches, whip them with mube branches, because they refuse to go are you there with me but not the believer the believers are willing it is time for you to say goodbye some of you all don't want to go you love the chicken Kentucky chicken too much <laughs> but the Christian as though they walk to the grave themselves hallelujah somebody say hallelujah my father's favorite song I remember while I was young of his favorite song used to be I must have the Savior with me hallelujah when you're about to die to know for sure that the Savior is look at Barbara how she look nice peaceful as though God has wiped away all tears from her eyes eyes thou shall come to thy grave acceptable george herbert a poetry speaker after some several struggles having requested his wife and nieces who were weeping at his bedside to leave the room and commit his will to mr wooden 
to Mr. Wooden of Care, crying out, I am ready to die. Lord, forsake me not. My strength faileth, but grant me mercy for the merit of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now, Lord, receive my soul. Then he lay himself back and breathe his last breath to God and die. That's a good way to die. Somebody say amen. I'm believing God before I die. I call my wife, kiss her goodbye. Call my daughter, kiss her goodbye. And then I fall asleep. See you in the resurrection morning. Somebody say amen. The believers, the unbelievers are not so. You pay more. I know I've seen people die at the hospital. Some of them, they call us pastors to pray for them before they die. I've seen the wicked die. I've seen the unbelievers die. And I've seen the believers die. I saw one wicked person die somehow. They, they would make the sound of horse donkey all type of stuff and they literally had to tie him on the bed and he was saying shalaya 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 hello i don't want to die like this i have seen also unbelievers die they did not do much but they sweat they sweat but i'm telling you what i've seen that really impressed me is when the believers die you're talking to them yes yes john yes and all of a sudden you say and they are gone clap your hand for that <laughs> somebody shout hallelujah so here it is the death of the believers are not only acceptable yes but yes so, this is not a performance i'm one of the sons yes this is my mom's death yes speak from the heart do not give a performance no i'm not giving performance i'm not that type son i'm not that type Amen. I'm not that type. Glory be to God. Christian death is always timely. Everybody say timely. It's not only acceptable, it is also timely. Hear what the scripture said in the book of Job. Yes. Thou shalt come to thy grave in full age. Everybody say full age. I might work hard. I might work hard, I might be tired, but die in full age. It did not say old age. Many of you believe you will reach 70. By the way, she's only 58. 50 young. The believers don't die before time. Two things that is important. They don't die before time. We have this song, gone too soon, gone too soon. You all know that song, of course. Hello? The believers don't die before time, and they do not die after time. We all have our time. The believers die right on time. God's timing in full age. You could die 58, but you are still in full age. You could die at 20, you are in full age. Hello, by the way, I'm saying that to you. Eh? Most deaths these days are young people. Before I would have about seven deaths um, in a year, seven, eight deaths. Last year and year before, I had about 36 deaths and mostly young people. At one time, I said, I'm tired of doing funerals. Are you there with me? But yet, regardless of what, they do not die before the time. It's only the fool, the Bible say, die before his. And who's a fool? A fool who is one who make plan of his life and do not put God in it. Are you there with me? I don't deserve a fair plan. Demena alela. Apo demena alela. Umamba ubaka di si bon dievle. Ungrateful. Clap your hand for that. Only put di si bon dievle. Somebody say praise the Lord. Okay, we are moving quickly. The last thing is that the Christian will die with honor. Christian die with the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, it's a shame for a man to live and do not have a decent burial. Hello? There is such thing called the funeral honor. And by the way, I have to commend every one of you for giving our sister good funeral honor. 
Hello! Clap your hand for that. The children and family members. Not just put things together, put things together. No! Yes, there is an owner. Everything is working on perfectly well. Somebody say praise the Lord. I'm going quickly. I'm going to. I'm going to do my um, my conclusion now. Are you ready to come to your grave? How? What time have you planned to come? How will you appear before the king? Honey, there will be some that will weep over you. Yes? You will not be hurried away. But they will be carried. You will be carried to your grave. In honor. Singing. Pursuing. And crying. And then people could say, look at the woman who raised me. Look at the woman who teach me in Sunday school. They remain here. They can think some good things about you. Ellis, the believers have two, two funerals. The first funeral is from the body. The funeral of the body. That's what we are doing here now. But there is another funeral. It is the marriage of the soul. For as soon as the soul, the breath of life, go to heaven, the angels now take our dear sister Barbara and take her, usher her to the throne of God. So we are here just celebrating the physical funeral. But there is another funeral which is in the very presence of God. Hello! And I can imagine when she came, she might have not uh, uh, um, a limousine, but the angel know where she is. And guess what? When she put on this thing, when the angel come over and take her over to heaven, I could hear things happening up there. Yes? And I could hear, Master, what song shall we sing? And I heard one angel say, when the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that. Somebody give God a high note of praise here. When the saints go, I don't know for you, but I'll be there. If you know you will be there, raise your hands and say yes. And by the way, I desire every one of you to be there because hell was not made for you. The Bible says hell was made for the devil and the angels. We all can make it in heaven. Are you there with me? Regardless of which church that you are in, you can make it to heaven. Some people believe it's Pentecostal church alone going to heaven. Joke you're making. I tell my people here already, there are lots of you sitting here and you're not going to heaven. <laughs> you need to clap your hand for that. Eh? That's a strong statement. There are people from all church. God is too big. All churches, the moment you surrender and you change your life, repent from your sins, you have a place in God's heaven. Amen. What's about you today? For all those who are saved, we are closing. Raise your hands. Death of the believer is inevitable. Secondly, it is acceptable. Thirdly, it is timely. And finally, it deserves a funeral honor. A funeral I told my wife um, as I close, what funeral I want. I told her I want a celebration. I want live band. By the way, I'll invite you all to play for me that day. I want live band. And I want people to jig and dance and move around. Are you there with me? I'm gone. I'm in heaven. Just move. Somebody shout hallelujah. You want to know another secret as I close? Another secret as I close. Barbara will, will meet me up there. You know another secret as I close? I told her I want you to give my people, my folks, my friend. Give them Golo. Kill goat, kill cow, celebrate. Somebody clap your hand. You'll be there. Some of you will be there.
Amen. Are you there with me? There is a better place while we are on earth. Do all what you can. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve him in spirit and in truth. But never, never, never leave to that hope. Always have that hope. One of these days, we all must say goodbye. And clean you come. Whatever you saw, that shall you also. Stand with me. Our dear sister Barbara, her life is okay. There is nothing we can do to change it. Thank God before she died, she lived a good life. She accept Christ as Lord and Savior. Today is your day for all those who haven't accepted the Lord as Lord and Savior. If Barbara could have speak, the best thing she would say, Pastor, make an altar call. If you want to see her again, just raise your hands and I will lead you in the sinner's prayer as we close. Raise your hands wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father in heaven, I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to save me from my sins. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. Come into my life. Come in to stay. Write my name in the book of life and help me, Lord Jesus, that I may live for you the rest of my life in Jesus name and everybody clap your hands amen amen have your seats please I'll turn to the chairperson I believe it's time to sign the register right those that will be signing say please thank you pastor Joseph for the signing of the register, we call on the persons to sign, Bertrand Pierre, James Frederick, Junior James Frederick Sr. and Sylvia Donnelly. And I invite God's creation, three young persons to do a special song. God's creation, please come up. Persons to do the signing of the register, please follow pastor on this side.
Hallelujah. It's not a show. We're just having a celebration of life for our sister Barbara. She would love that. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Now we'll call on the family members of Barbara Pierre. When, and Reverend John Joseph is going to pray for the family. So all family members of Barbara Pierre come to the front so Pastor can pray for us. If you could form a, a semicircle. Thank you, 
Lord. The rest of you, can you please stand? And stretch forth your hands towards the family members as a form of contact. And let us pray. Oh Father and oh God, we are so grateful and we are so thankful that we are here. We are here to celebrate the life of our dear sister, our sister Barbara Pierre. We thank you for the beautiful life that she lived and the choice that she made while she was alive. And we believe God that she died in hope. And one of these days we will see her again. We will always have fond memory of her. And so we thank you for your Holy Spirit. And God, we know that you are the one who determined whom to leave and whom to die. And you have called your daughter home. We are not praying for her this afternoon. Her destiny is already settled. But we are praying for the family members. We are praying for the children. Lord, we lift them up, the Pierre family, before you. We pray your hands will be upon them. Cause that the death of our dear sister Barbara will bring them closer to you in the name of Jesus. Cause that they will be united at this time. Strengthen them with might in the inner man. I pray for added grace upon their life in the name of Jesus. I pray for the two sons that you will keep them together, Lord. Help them that they will serve the God of their mother in the name of Jesus. one of them here every family member strengthen them wrap them in your arms wrap them in your arms we call the paraclete in the person of the holy spirit we ask that you will comfort them at this time we pray for oh god comfort and strength in the next weeks and months and even years to come and we are looking forward that one of these days we'll be reunited with our sister we bless this moment even now in the name of the father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and everybody say yes clap your hand for the Lord make sure you take your belongings amen go back to your seats I believe they have the vote of thanks But please come up to do the vote of thanks. to thank God Almighty for bringing us together to endure and celebrate the life of our beautiful aunt, mother, sister, niece, and friend. Auntie, you are, you are and will truly be missed. Special thanks to Dr. Marie Pierre and Dr. Sharon Thomas, pastors of the Church of God of Prophecy in Town, for their continuous prayers and support. Thanks to Pastor Joseph to help us celebrate the life of Barbara Pierre. We thank the members of the Church of God of Prophecy for their support and prayers. Thanks to everyone who contributed in all ways. Our family can't express how much your generosity has meant to us during this difficult time. Thank you all for your contributions, whether it were monetary or or in prayer, we truly appreciate your support. Auntie Barbara always held a special place in my heart. Like every family member, like every member in our family, we each share unique. Mine with Barbara wasn't just because she made me the best mac and cheese when I was growing up. We had and will continue to have an unspeakable level of love for each other. Auntie, 
I thank you personally for all the good times that you gave. We shared moments that are irreplaceable. I will never forget you. I know that you are now in a better place with our uncle and grandmother. I thank you that, you, that we are all together again. After the ceremony, we'll proceed to the Jackman Cemetery for the burial, and refreshments will be served at JJ's Paradise right after. Thank you, everyone. As we take the body of our beloved mother, sister, niece, friend, and to her final resting place, we shall sing, I believe. Let us all stand. Oh 
clothes Safe and sound Lift me up 
hold me down Keep me close Safe and sound Keep me safe, 
safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Keep me close Safe and sound Drowning in an endless sea Take some time and stay with me Give me the strength of your arms Keep me safe, safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me safe We need light We need love Lift me up
lift me up Hold me down Keep me close Safe and sound Part, keep me safe, safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Keep me close Safe and sound Some time and stay with me. Keep me in the strength of your arms. Keep me safe, safe and sound. Lift me up, hold me down. Keep me close. Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me safe We need light We need love Lift me up Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
girl Keep me close Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me in the warmth of your love When you depart Keep me safe, safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Keep me close Safe and sound Some time and stay with me. Keep me in the strength of your arms. Keep me safe, safe and sound. Lift me up, hold me down. Keep me close. Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me safe We need light We need love Lift me up Oh 
close Safe and sound
Um, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we are here. Hello, hello. Leave it still. Leave it still. Hello. Thank you. Um, on your leaflet, let us sing this song. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful show. Just before we do the commission. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see the far. For the Father is over the way. To prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by. We shall be. Show in the street by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. We shall sing on the beautiful shore the melodious songs of the blessed, and our spirits shall sorrow no more. Not a sight for the blessing of rest. In the sweet, in the sweet, in the sweet, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet, in the sweet, by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. To a bountiful Father above, we will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gifts of His love and the blessings.
Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One of these days. Yeah, tell her after we will sing this one. No, I need some fire. Hey. Miss Sylvia. Just tell him to be Just say it after we join us. Okay. Friends, we are gathered here to commit to the resting place the body of our beloved sister, Barbara Pierre, whose spirit is already with the Lord. While this pot of earth will hold the form of one whose memory we will always treasure, we look not here in sorrows as those who have no hope. We believe to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord and to die is gain. We therefore commit We therefore commit um, the body of our beloved sister to the ground in the renewing and fresh hope of the soon coming of Christ at whose appearing the dead in Christ shall rise and we who are alive and remain shall be called up to meet the Lord in the air and thus shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore we comfort one another with these words. Hear the comforting words of scripture. The Lord gives. The Lord taketh away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We now commit the body of Barbara Pierre to the ground. Earth to earth, dust to dust. Thus you came, Barbara, and thus you must return. The Lord gives, the Lord taketh away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's say the Our Father prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father and our God, we look up to you and we thank you for the beautiful life of our dear sister Barbara that you have called her home. And we are here to witness the committal of her body. At this time we pray that your grace will be upon the family. You will strengthen them, be with them, let them know that you have made a promise to them. Lo, when they are low, you are with them always. They might be low in spirit, but let them know that you are there with them. And so strengthen them. Unite them together. Let your grace be upon them. Even as we mark this part of earth, this tomb, until the day of the resurrection. And so until then, I pray that your grace will be with the family. And will you bless them and keep them. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say, Amen. Farewell, Barbara. Till we meet again. Farewell, my sister. on the other side. Meet at Jesus' feet, till we meet, till we meet, till we meet. God be with you, till we meet, till we meet. Jesus.
Okay, so viewers, the family would like to say thank you to everyone who came out and showed their support in whatever way possible during this time of bereavement. The family appreciates your support to all those who called, all those who sent in well wishes. The family is grateful. And also to our online viewers, thank you for your continuous love and support. Hope you guys have a blessed and splendid afternoon. One love to the max.